Hey friends, my name is Doug. Welcome to Third Style Garage. This is the channel about the restoration of a 66 Beetle convertible named Hendrick. Also working on some shop improvements and Mustang, uh, Mustang projects as well. Uh, if you enjoy the channel, uh, if you have questions, comments, uh, post a comment below. We'd love to respond and dialogue, hear your thoughts, suggestions. If we can help you at all with your projects or if you've learned pro things about yours that you can share for us or others, that would be great. Also, do me a favor and the channel a favor and click the subscribe button if you would. Uh, that helps us keep doing what we're doing and uh, it's nice to connect with people. Uh, today's episode is going to be part five in the restoration of Hendrick. And uh, when we disassembled it, it took us a while to figure out exactly how the all the window mechanisms came out of the doors and the rear quarters. And uh, so we documented this to show you kind of where all the bolts are and how it comes apart and what way it comes out. Uh, so hopefully it helps you along the way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, so we're working on continuing the disassembly of the car. Um, I'm working right now on the removing the engine out of the back. Dale and Ron are moving on, working on the doors. So the window mechanism is completely out of the driver's door. It's a bit of a task and it's not completely straightforward. So while we're not detailing so much of the little things, uh, you know, the fender's unbolted pretty easily and the rocker panels and, and that's not too complicated trim and things like that. Uh, we're trying to videotape the things that we found would have been the most helpful if somebody had created a video that we had watched beforehand. So here it is. We're working on the door trim. Dale, teach us what you've learned, how you went about it. All right. So the inner window scraper, it has a, a groove and that groove is um is what some of this this uh that little piece goes in but there's also this piece that hooks underneath it and so inside there it's really kind of a tight mess um to get everything out this guy we were able to just pull this one off once we got it loose and it kind of ripped off without tearing all of this but this is a fairly new window scraper if it's old i think it's just going to tear and you're going to need a new one anyway Okay. And to put it in, you need to have the window out. Um, to put the window scraper in, the window has to yeah. come out. So, so we got that's that's not necessarily super obvious. For the outer scraper, um, there's screws that go into these spots, and then they go into the door. This side only had three, and so we were able to take the entire piece out and not have this vent window out uh, in order to do it. Okay. But on our driver's side... Was it supposed to have three or yours I only don't know. had three of them? I really okay. don't know. I don't know if that was a previous owner issue. So we got one here, one there, and one there. On the driver's side, there's an additional one that's behind this vent window. So okay. you had to Good get to know. the there's vent a window fourth out. One. And you could tell because it was stuck, whereas got the it. other one just popped right out. So getting the vent window, um, there's a screw that goes right into this top, and you have access to that. Okay. And that helps hold the whole vent window in. And then with that out, you can now, the whole top is open and you can swivel this. This is just on a post. Okay. So you can get all of this out pretty easy. And that gives you, when you take the rubber, this rubber that's in this space, you peel that back and now you can get into, I have a bolt on one side and a screw on the other. So I'm not sure what's supposed uh -huh. to be there, but that's one access, uh, locking point. That's like a little eight millimeter. And then there are right in here, there are two more. Okay. And then on the inside. Let me swing back around here. You've got another bolt right here. Okay. And what you're pulling out is something that looks like this. Obviously it's a mirror, mirror image. image. Um, but this part right here is a little bit messy. Here's the bolt that's in the door. Okay. But you have a threaded rod that is when it's in position. So it's a stud, not a bolt. And instead of a head, it's got a jam nut. There you go. Okay. And this is turned farther out 
then you'd be able to pull through the door because the door okay. doesn't have enough thickness. Yeah. So that's why you have on the end of it, it's got a slot. standard slot. So you got can it. screw this in and that allows you to, to pull it through, twist it sideways and get it out. But obviously that requires the glass to be gone. Okay, so that comes out the top once you get that stud out, correct? Correct. Okay. In order to get that out, the glass has got to be gone. So how do we get the glass gone? So the hammer and shatter it. <laughs> the glass is held by it, it works its way as you go up and down in this this little channel. So this one I didn't take off yet. Okay. And then here are the parts that we had. So there's a little plastic part, and that sits in here and rides back and forth in this channel. So it's like a little plastic Delrin slide or something. And you can okay. buy new ones of these. Okay. Um, but then on top of that, you to hold it in, you have a couple of washers, yeah. and you have one of these little, little tiny pins. spring clamps. Okay. And so that's a bit of a bear. We had to have, <laughs> uh, thankfully, we had a, a little tiny... Um, needle nose pliers that was small okay and that's this guy right here and okay. that end was able to um to get in there to, to pry open that spring clamp and get it off is it the kind of spring clamp that you push on from the side and it snaps on or does it have the little holes that you spread open um i did not see little holes so i think you're just pushing it on got it and um and it kind of distorted as i pulled it off let me clean that there we go Oh yeah, it's got the double teeth. Focus. There we go. Okay. So once those are off, whoops. Once those are off, now the window is just sitting in the track that's uh, by the vent window. Yep. And another track that's back here. Yep. And in a similar way, it's the same kind of Start bolt there. as over here. And then it has right in here, it has another bolt. And that looks like this. There is your other track. Again, it's a right okay, and left. So, so this yep. is the part that would be coming through the door. Yep. And then this is the part that's coming through the door. And okay. it provides the other side. So that's the outside track. And then there's an inside track over here. So do you need to take both tracks out before the glass comes out? Or so does the glass come out first? Pulling these guys off and then having that inner window scraper off. Yep. Pull these guys off, then we could lift the window out of the door. Okay. That allows me then to get into the the vent window the frame and track, and then this frame and track, or that track. Okay. So. Got it. And when does, and then after, so glass comes out, then the vent window, and then the regulator crank mechanism yeah we haven't actually taken the mechanism of the the, the crank that's all still in there yet but okay. i believe that's just a couple of bolts here and weaseling it out through this hole okay any other things you've learned along the way patience how long like now that you've done one how long you think it'll take you to do a second one um is this a half hour project hour project I, uh half hour or less 15 minutes to a half hour once okay. you know you got all your sizes and you kind of know what you're doing and feel more comfortable with it assuming all of these posts um these these uh studs, studs. here yeah um if that's rusted all in together yeah you you it's now you've got, got a little a bit longer of a project because yeah if it's too wide to get through the body that's that's a problem got it all right uh great Onward. thanks dale nice work hey dale how's it going where what's going well what's going hard so um one of the things we talked about was this uh, you get water in there and it can rust up and that's is totally what happened so this what you're supposed to do is be able to take that slot and then you can run this piece a little farther in that makes it narrower and you're able to move it around and get it out um, but I couldn't do that because it's all frozen. So I had to take out the three bolts that hold the window regulator and that got the wing window regulator to drop. So that way I had a little more thickness to be able to push this back. And thankfully I just could clear it. So now this would be able to come free. Unfortunately, what we found in the top here, we had undone the bolts on the side. That was nice and easy right here in the door. But then right through here is either on one side a screw, or the other side was a bolt, and there's this captured nut here. And unfortunately, that captured nut 
is completely, I don't know if that was helpful. Anyway, it that capture nut's able to spin around. And so as we were trying to get it to, you know, to pull the, the bolt out, it was just spinning and going nowhere, which then kept me from being able to take the, the vent window frame out of the door. Just kind of lines up because on the driver's side, we had almost the same situation except for the nut was fi only finger tight and so it came out but that would explain why that bolt was never tight yeah so we ended up grinding off the head of the bolt and uh and then and then being able to to put a screwdriver in here to to hold that nut and had just enough to be able to pull the rest of the threads out all right, so we need to figure out how that is supposed to be. If anybody has any knowledge as to whether that captured nut, there is a cage on the back of it that my tip of my finger is touching right now um, that I would have expected that that was supposed to stop the nut from turning, but it doesn't. It's like the cage is too big or the nut is too small, but yet it looks like both sides are the same. So if anybody can give us any enlightenment about that, that would be great. What's next on the door? Um, so now that it's even a little clearer, now I'll be able to take all of this. And you can, of course, I, I've wound it so that it's a little less long. Um, but I'll have to jimmy it all through the space to get it out of this hole. And uh, and then I'm thinking I, I, I haven't decided whether or not we need to take the, the door latch um, to take that apart. Clearly, previous owner never did. They just painted right over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not interested in taking something apart if I don't need to, but uh, but maybe that's a good idea. So that's something yep. we got to do some thinking on. Okay, and eventually we'll have to look at the door strap, uh, the dome light, and, uh, and talk about hinges as well. Good work, Dale. Keep it up. Working on dismantling the guts of the door, uh, we we're faced with a dilemma of do you what do you leave in what do you take out for paint ideally the door comes off the car to do it best to do it right um car has been painted several times obviously the last coat of blue they left pieces in um we wrestled with what needs to come out what doesn't and made the decision that i think we're just gonna go absolutely everything comes out let's get down to just the metal of the door in that way we can uh inspect everything as it goes make sure the fasteners are in good shape clean things um you know if this is not meant to have paint on it let's get the paint off it i know it'll be covered by the door card but when you start cutting corners, where do you stop? And so that's the decision we made. I'm curious as to what you would have done. Would you have just painted it? Would you have just put tape over this and call it good? Or, or what have you learned from it? Getting this thing apart and out ended up being a little bit challenging. Dale, what are some of the challenges that we ran into? So I, I think I understand a little of why it was maybe left. Um, there's a couple of screws that are in there and supposed to be holding things. And on both of the doors, they were mismatched. In one, we're pretty certain that it, was, uh, um, it wasn't metric. So we're yeah, it was a 1024 to... cap head uh, socket cap screw. So, you know, that's going to need to get rethreaded. But what we ended up finding out, if we come over to the other side... Again, there's a couple of screws that are supposed to go in here. Uh, neither of these were in on this side. And so that created, you know, what did they do? Well, it looks like a previous owner just kind of slapped some glue on there to stick it to the side as opposed to using. So I'm not quite sure all the details of why, but... Um, it makes us glad we took it out though, because now we can make sure it's done right and clean up holes. If the holes are stripped out, we might need to weld them shut and re-tap them or tack well the nut on the back we'll figure that out but um makes us glad we took it apart have, having this piece in um you can't take everything out we ended up needing to raise this through so that we could pull off that little c-clamp and There's a little uh, snap ring there or snap ring yep take that guy off and then we were able to separate the two so now we can clean this all up and not have it all painted and glued yes 
So this door is, is pretty much done. We took the little bump stop off of down here. We do need to do the limiting strap and the hinge yet before this door. I think it'll be done, won't it, Dale? I agree. Good. Making progress. Front doors are off, windows are out. On to the rear. Dale, what do we need to know about taking the rear ones out? Um, way easier than the front windows and the doors. So you've, again- Maybe you're you've, just getting a little less whiny. <laughs> you've got an inner, inner window scraper. And again, careful because it does latch around the bottom. It um, goes in and out the same way as the door one? Same way. Okay. There's a, a screw in the front and a screw in the back for the outside window scraper. And so you'll roll the window up just a little way so you can get at both of those and then pop that off. Now you got a nice wide space. Um, and then uh, there are a couple of bolts right in the end here. And those bolts go into uh, this little bracket and you've got, uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> you've got that going into this bracket and then literally um, you're just pulling this out of the window regulator. There's a, a friction fit that happens here. Um, so this is just set inside. Um, so with a bit of a firm tug, once this is out, you can lift this whole thing out. And then um, these guys are just four bolts that are on there and you've got plenty of room to weasel that right on out of here. So Great. nice and easy, way easier than the front. Awesome. All right, you're making progress. The outer door, or the, sorry, the passenger driver rear. Well, that was clear. Uh, this is taken out. We're doing little things like taking the doors, the centering wedge, uh, all the pieces here. The strap is welded in. We're going to take these upper hinges off, lower hinges. Um, starting to get a little bit more of a picture that uh, I think there's a bunch of Bondo here. And... Uh, this A pillar needs a lot of inspection. We got a little crack in the metal here. So that door comes off next and uh, we're pretty close to done with uh, door hardware.